Schumacher. And uh, the kind of mouth he Pat Dagan. I mean, he took on my friend Mike. I'm not happy with that, you know? <laughs> oh, Pat and I have been friends for years, and he's always got a good little rip for me, you know? But I give him right back. But right now, Tony Schumacher, I mean, you got to look at all the numbers, and, uh, you know, he's got to be the favorite coming in here. But, you know, Pat Dagan, I mean, I, I wouldn't count him out right now. Tony Schumacher and that Army team, they don't count anybody out. They go up there, they race a the racetrack. Tony goes up there and just does his job on the starting line. He lets the numbers decide who's going to win. Schumacher last year lost second round here to Sean Langdon. Take a look at some of these numbers and 09 comparison to this year and through the, big, the six races. The big one is the round wins. Last year he had 14 round wins at this point, only nine this year. But with the countdown format, you can never count the Sarge out. And there's Pat Dakin. First time that he's ever had to race the seven-time champion. I'd be cheering for you if you hadn't a diss my man. <laughs> taking all kinds of fire squirting out of there. Schumacher with the win. They came off the line side by side. A 420 for Tony Schumacher. 252 miles an hour. Well, I think that's, Tony might have dodged a bullet right there. Obviously problems from Pat Dakin's car as soon as he hit the throttle. Watch on the, the right side of your screen. As soon as he hits the throttle, they had a cylinder just misfire and then the fire came out the side. I don't know if that was from a head gasket pushing out because you can actually see it firing. I got to believe it's just head gaskets off the front of that motor possibly and look at Tony Schumacher on the left side of your screen he was spinning the tires from probably from that transition all the way on yeah that was uh let's watch the left side of your screen again as soon as Pat Dagan identical reaction times but that cylinder come out and it just pushed out it's like the the cylinder had never sealed and it was just pushing that that head gasket out car was still under power albeit it, it robbed a lot of power by having all that happen obviously but uh, the car was actually still moving there early in the run i didn't see you messing with that car did i during break <laughs> <laughs>